Good day, everybody. This is William Michael Forbes, and I'm glad you're coming here to join me today on this interesting conversation about how science proves that we are energy. And there are some very fascinating studies that have been done over the last 30 or 40 years in clinical research, in remote viewing. Uh, hi, everybody. Glad to see you're all coming here. Welcome. If you're just joining us now, just take a moment to, to listen to the tones that you're going to be hearing playing because today's subject requires that you have an understanding that you're not a body. In fact, all of the work that you've been studying is designed often to get you to the place where you realize that your body is just an instrument that you work through. And as you gain that knowledge and experiential understanding, the goal here is to get you to experience the difference between what you are as energy, as soul. And I use the word soul to represent spirit of universal light. That you are a consciousness constructed of light that is working through a different medium of light called matter. And that this matter is something that we can control. Obviously, we can control it. And I was talking with Norman, and I've been talking with my guides about the best way to approach the subject of, of how science has proven your energy without overwhelming you or, or discouraging any of you. I'm just going to turn this down slightly. Because when you're talking about being in a physical body and you want to understand what you are, not who you think you are, but what you are, is a very, very important distinction. And I've got a whole team of people behind me as you have a whole team of people behind you. And they are connecting now so that we will bring through the necessary information for you to understand that you are energy. For it does nothing for you, for science to prove that you're energy, but it does everything for you to know that you are. To know that you are not the body that you sit in, that you're not the eyes that are looking out through that body, but that you are consciousness. That you are this consciousness that is all that is. And we're asking you to stretch yourself now beyond what you've been conditioned to think. And this is the goal. You came here to stretch yourself outside of the boundaries that you've been encased in by your past experiences and the thing that you call your life, which you identify as a body that you're in right now. The body that you're in right now is an electromagnetic device. It's got limited capabilities unless you extend those capabilities. Your body cannot see, smell, touch, taste, and hear anything more than what it is designed to unless you, as a soul, extend the capabilities of sight, sound, touch, taste, and hearing, which are also called the clairs. To extend beyond the body is to get into the clairs. Now, experience then becomes the crucial key for getting you to know that you're not that body that you're in. To know that it is strictly an instrument. When you feel and know truth and you get the energies coming in and you get the excitement coming up, you're feeling energy. Now, they can measure this energy in rooms. There's a gentleman that I like to follow named Dr. Joe Dispenza. And uh, Joe has uh, doing groups now where they measure people's brainwave activity and they can actually measure the energy in the room. They can actually measure the energy in the room and how it changes according to the consciousness of the people that are there and what they have those people focus on. So I'm going to ask everybody just to take a moment and just settle in where they are. Take a deep breath. Take a really deep breath and bring the energy in your body because you're bringing energy in. 
Hold it for a moment and release it and bring yourself into this moment. And bring yourself to this present moment. Because I'm going to ask you to feel this moment. What we feel is energy. Everything that you feel, everything that you see, smell, touch, taste, and hear is energy. Now the physical body that you're in right now is only capable of seeing 0.0035% of the electromagnetic spectrum. In other words, uh, 1,003, 0.0035% of what is available to your eyes, your eyes can only see that small fraction. But there's this whole other spectrum of sight, of visual things that are way beyond. And we only see 0.0035%. And it's the same for hearing and touch and smell and taste. The only way you can extend that capability is by your awareness. So I'm going to ask you while you're sitting in your body right now to just become aware of the space around your body and just be present in the space around your body. And as you allow yourself to feel the space around your body, you're actually moving your awareness out of the body and extending it to around the body. And this is very important. There have been studies done where, where they've taken people, the US military did some studies with remote viewing back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, where they took people and they had them move their awareness from the room they were sitting in to another point of time and space across the world and to observe very precise and specific conditions. And they found that with the right training, anybody that had an open enough mind and awareness could literally see what was going on in a completely remote place. Now I'm sure many of you have heard of remote viewing, but how many of you actually have done it? And what is it that they do, what is it those individuals do to move themselves to see what their eyes cannot see, to hear what their ears cannot hear. So right now you're hearing these verbal words being spoken from this form, but are you feeling and hearing and seeing that which you can only feel without your senses? And even though some of this might seem to stretch you or your mind might seem a little confused, it is only because your mind is trying to interpret something that it cannot understand within the framework of who you've been conditioned to think you are. Our goal in these courses is to help you break out of the mold that you were cast into so that you can be the divine being you intended to be when you came here, which is why you are here in these groups. So that you can break free of the encasing of the constructed self and be everything that you're capable of being. So if you feel the space around your body, your brain is going to do two things. It's going to move back and forth. A part of you is going to analyze the space and a part of you is going to question what it's analyzing. And the part of you that questions what it's analyzing is the mind. It's not you. It's the mind that does not understand what you're analyzing. Because the mind thinks in terms of up and down and in and out and back and forth and hot and cold. The mind is constructed to, to perceive reality as you know it to be through the body only. But let us say that you can step outside of this body and be aware of that space and feel the space around your body right now. And extend that space out to sense, say, eight feet out around your body, even at this moment. What do you sense in the space with your feelings? What do you feel in the space around you? The reason we're taking this track today is we were guided to instruct you to gain experience of yourself as energy rather than try to prove that energy exists to you scientifically, though we can do that too. But the goal here is for you to extend your capabilities beyond what you've been conditioned to utilize at this point in your development. So in sensing the space around your body, allow yourself to feel that space and be present in it. 
Feel the vibration of the space that's around you right now. Do you notice any people, beings, physical energies moving around you? Warmth, hot, cold, around you. Do you get any sensations of something or someone coming in? It's important to know what you don't know. You have to step outside of what you do know. And by the end of these courses, you'll be able to step outside of what you think you know so that you can be what you are. And if any of this sounds confusing, it did to me when I first began studying many, many years ago that I'm not who I think I am. I am what I think. But I that thinks what I think is thinking what I've been taught to think. And so I had to learn to realize the difference between what you've been taught to think you are, what I was taught to think I was, and then to identify who is this I that's examining these thoughts or examining this space or examining these sensations. And as you get closer to that I, that you that is you, you'll begin to hear and see and feel things differently than you've been conditioned to do so. My goal today, as I've been instructed, is to get you to consider breaking the egg open. They're saying that you are, we are all in these eggs of the personality, of the constructed self. And that when we break that egg open, when you crack that shell and start to look outside of what you think you know, you begin to truly grow and become the soul that you are. And from this perspective, and they're saying that some of you are probably feeling vibrations right now that might be perceived as uncertainty or excitement or hot or cold, or you may be feeling something coming into your heart right now. But whatever it is, it's designed to get you to break outside of who you think you are. So they had these individuals moving their consciousness out of the body. And when they were doing that, they could measure brainwave activity, showing that the brainwave activity would drop down to be a lower frequency down into theta from alpha. Right now, those of you who are listening to me are listening to me in alpha. Those of you um, um, that are listening to me, uh, really analyzing what I'm saying, are in are in uh, beta, which is thinking. You're thinking about and trying to analyze and trying to make sense of all this information at once. But there are certain things that I'm going to say during this time that's going to make you stop and pause and relax and move into alpha. When you can step down out of the analytical mind into the experiential awareness, you'll begin to start to synthesize information differently. So just imagine now, they could measure that these people's brains would actually change when they left their body and began to re remotely review things from thousands of miles away or hundreds of miles away in great detail. Now they also know they've measured Indian fakirs who would go into deep trances and they could see the body would almost appear dead to measurable instrumentation. The brain would appear to be dead. And they would wonder, how can this being still be alive if it appears dead? And of course, the Fakir said, well, I just left my body and told it to go to a minimal state of relaxation. And I came back when I needed to come back. But the scientific instrumentation cannot measure exactly what this soul is, though they're starting to now. They're beginning to recognize that you are pure energy. That's what you truly are and you can direct the activities of your form to function the way it does. Yeah. So take a breath and be present. Again, take a breath. Everybody take a breath and bring yourself back to this present moment. And just feel the moment. Can you see the activity of your mind? They're asking me to ask you that. Can you see the activity of your mind from the moment? Can you watch your thoughts of what he's talking about? Oh, I need water. What am I going to do in an hour? How long is this going to be? They're saying, can you see your thoughts? Can you make a discernment? 
They're saying it's very important you learn to discern between yourself as the thinker and yourself as the thoughts. For to fully comprehend the truth of what you are and the energy of yourself as an unlimited consciousness means that you must let go of that which you think you are. And uh, they're, they're stressing, you have to learn to let go. You have to learn to let go. Let go. They're stressing that. Let go of who you think you are. And connect to the feeling self. Um, and they're saying the feeling self, you'll know when you're connecting to the feeling self because you'll feel at peace. You won't feel any uncertainty. You won't feel any variance as people and events and circumstances will happen around you as they always do. But in a state of who you are, you're not affected by those things the same way. And when you can step out of that constructed self, you're free. You're free to actually start to now construct and manifest your divine design. They're saying you have a divine design. Everybody, everybody in this group and in these courses or studying this material anywhere in the world has a divine design, a template that you came into your body with. And you have now reached a place where you're ready to actualize and comprehend what that is, to live it, to get your mind and body to serve that purpose. For your mind and body, if they are truly your servants, will never try to take over what your objectives are. Um, they're saying this mechanism shall only do and ought and is designed to only do that which you wish it to do. And it will. But when you are given ideas and information that go contrary to your purpose and you get lost in the contrary information, you will lose yourself in the self that was made and given to you from the environment. To understand that you are energy, that science is proving it can measure the electrical impulses that move from your brain through your body, that it can sense the flow of electrons through your nervous system to a toe or to a finger, that science can now measure the energy alterations when you put your attention, and I want you to do this now, everybody take their left hand and hold it up and put all of your attention in your left hand with your eyes closed and notice if your hand gets warmer or cooler when you do that. And just make notes. I'm going to pull up so I can see the comments here now. Because we're going to start again. I'm in the process of you understanding that you have these beings that are around you all the time. All of your angels, all of your guides are with you all the time. To truly know this, to truly be able to feel it and comprehend it and accept it, is the goal here so that you know that you know. So it's not just a theory. So you, some of you have heard say that I don't feel anything. But I would say to you, the fact that you don't feel anything means that you are feeling something that you're calling anything. I'm not feeling anything. I don't feel, but there's something there that you're feeling that you're not feeling. You're labeling it as I don't feel anything. But that thing that you think that you're not feeling is the thing that you're actually feeling. But you don't have a label to describe that thing which your brain has no understanding of. So give me a moment here. Um, dear ones, you must remember you are love. You must remember that you are love. Take time to be present in the moment. This is where many of you get lost, trying to run to the future or trying to figure out the past. And you are going to learn to get past your past and out of your future past through the work that you do with all these ones that work with you now. And it's important that you practice the practice and do the work. For your body and your mind will only remember through what you do. 
Your body and mind will remember what you do, and it will remember what you feel. Now, did any of you, so Savannah, you felt warmth? I'm just catching up the comments now because I want to walk through this. They're saying you have to experience energy to know that you are it. And once you start to direct energy, once you start to actually intentionally direct energy, you start to realize that you are the director of energy. Robert, energy and warmth, great. Now, uh, anybody else feel those sensations? Uh, Christine Kidd. Okay, Christine, um, they're suggesting to me that you put your two hands close together like this. Christine, put your two hands close together like this. And then slightly move them. And they're saying you should feel the energy. You may call it warmth or heat. But they're saying when you push, you should feel pressure. And tell me if this is the case. They're not usually wrong. Uh, Lioness got a slight tingle. Okay, so everybody is feeling those sensations. Put, put even more attention on that part of the body. Put even more attention there. Put your focus into your hand. Put your awareness in your hand. They're saying, go inside and feel if the feeling increases or decreases. And describe the results. Yes. Slight tingle also, good. Remember the goal today is to get you to understand that energy is something that you are and that you direct whenever you focus your attention. Science can measure temperature changes and I can challenge, if you have two thermometers at home, you can take two thermometers, hold one in one hand and one in the other hand and concentrate on one hand more than the other and you'll see about a, a quarter to a half a degree variance in the hand that you're putting more awareness. Sometimes people can go higher than that. I've, I've been in situations where uh, I had a, a nurse doing a blood pressure thing on me for, as an experiment, and I was able to intentionally raise and lower my blood pressure, which is, which is not, not a difficult thing to do once you understand the body is not who you are. It's an instrument you utilize. Um, increased, now it's warm, good, Christine. Right. Yes, yes, good. So everybody's getting a response. Remember, you are energy. Now that response, that effect in your hand is an effect of your awareness, your soul energy going to that point and altering the molecular flow, the molecular rate, the speed of the molecules there because your awareness, you, soul, we all vibrate at a very high frequency. They're saying it's important to stress this point. You vibrate at a very high frequency, as do we. It is important that you know how to change your vibration so that you can see us and hear us and know us. You are learning to sense vibration now. You're learning to sense vibration that you can intentionally change and alter in your physiology. It is important to know that you can do this with your body because as you learn to extend your awareness out beyond your body, you will see and hear us because you are at a higher frequency than the body. Your body is at a lower frequency. You are at the higher frequency. And so it's important to distinguish between your body and your higher frequency of self in order to hear us the way you know you can, the way you have always felt you can. They're stressing this. They're stressing that you always can do this. But first you must learn to extend your awareness beyond what you know. Important, they say, extending your awareness beyond what you know. Uh, now, if you're feeling a slight tingling sensation behind your uh, back like Jessica is, you can feel that expanded out. How, where's that tingling originating from? It, the tingling sensation that you felt in your hand, the tingling sensation that you felt in your hand, 
And they're telling me, Jessica, that sensation is there trying to put energy into you to make you aware of somebody standing behind you right now. Just so you know that, there's somebody standing behind you. And I think it's Archangel Gabriel. Is it Archangel Gabriel? It's Gabriel. So, again, where you feel that tingling, Jessica, move your awareness up. Up into the tingling. Follow where it's coming in from. The goal here is to get you aware that you are the director of energy. You are the frequency that you need to be, that frequency. You can't be lost in this body. Um, now that you've got this tingling sensation, what do you feel around the hand? Now extend your awareness around the hand. They're saying extend your awareness around the hand. Feel the tingling and become aware more around the hand. They want you to notice, does the tingling get stronger or reach out beyond the hand? Summer Lee, yes, make certain you eat and drink and have lots of water before you do these sessions. Because you're going to be utilizing, you're utilizing, when you start tapping into your soul energy, your higher frequencies, your body begins to metabolize differently the frequency of the body begins to increase too. Now, yes, yes. Uh, Colleen, close your eyes. They're saying to tell you to close your eyes and f ask the feeling who it is. Ask the feeling who it is. Ask the feeling who it is. Now, Savannah, you're now feeling, everybody's going to be feeling this because we're in tune. Remember, the goal here is to get you to know that you are energy, you are soul, and you are a high-frequency being. Yes, you'll feel the health, that's right, Robert, you'll feel the hand swell energetically. Now you're starting to expand energy. Remember, the human soul is the director of the matter that it's in. When, it, when you awaken, they're saying, when you awaken from the sleep in this clay, they're saying the word clay, the body is like clay. When you awaken from the clay, you will become that which you already are. So they're saying, Robert, to expand that feeling energetically, to expand that feeling now up the arm, saying, expand the feeling up around the arm. Yes, that's right. Now, Jessica, you too, allow the feeling to expand more. And just let Gabriel's energy expand it more because remember all they're doing is trying to bring you up in vibrational resonance so that you can be in harmony with them and hear them that's it allow the expanding to happen continue to expand every allow the feelings the more you give attention to it the more it will expand because you are energy you are directing a flow of energy the minute wherever your attention goes energy flows Wherever your attention goes, energy flows. So continue expanding. Good. So ask who Jason is, Savannah, and he'll tell you. Remember, we're all about energy. The 102 is going to take you to levels of consciousness and awareness that will let you tap into things that you've always wanted to. So in feeling the energy that you're expanding around your bodies now, become aware of the space. Yes. Very good, Anne. Feel that blue energy all around you. That's Michael. Understand, Archangel Michael's with you, Anne. So really feel the vibration of the blue energy, Anne. They're saying, make certain you feel the vibration of the blue energy. Let it alter your form. And please, everybody, make sure while you're doing this that you have water to sip regularly. And uh, I highly recommend that you make certain when you're going, if you're going to, if you're going to come into these classes and these meetings, make certain you eat live food first. Eat a couple of oranges, eat a couple of apples, because the demands on your body are going to change now, and the vibration and the vitality of your body is going to increase. But in order to do that, you need to be putting things into your body that match the frequencies that they're going to be helping you attack, uh, uh, amplify and expand into. So it's really, really important. To make certain you put some food that's vibrant and energized in your body prior to these. Especially in the next three or four weeks, it's going to become very critical as you get your body frequency increases. So very important. Um, 
Yes. Yes. So feel those vibrations because the more you feel them, the more they'll expand. It's like if I said to you, uh, think of the color blue. If I asked all of you to think of the color blue, then your awareness and your brain will begin to produce everything that's blue. So whatever you give attention to is expanding. And that's the nature of your soul. Whatever you give energy to expands. You can give attention to, you can give attention to pain and suffering and all the hurt you've gone through in the past and you'll expand the pain, the hurt and the suffering. Or you can give attention to the love, the joy and the possibilities that you're creating for your life now and they will expand. You are a transmuter of energy. You are moving energy from one state of consciousness to another. That's what you're doing right now. You're altering the vibrational frequency of your consciousness. And our goal here is to get you out of this meat sack and being just the meat sack to increase its vibrational frequency so that, yes, Sue, um, Sue, allow yourself to see through the eye. Close your eyes, Sue, and allow that feeling of ache allow the ache become aware of it allow it to expand they're saying allow it to expand just feel it allow it to expand now all of you are having different experiences and they're going to get they're going to continue providing you direction as each of you need it and require it individually while simultaneously giving you the information that explains it so that you can understand the experience that you're going through they're saying, we will also try to make certain that the language is not too difficult for some of you. We will try to make certain that it's experiential because your experience will tell you what is true, not our words. Your experience is what will give you truth. Um, yes. So, who's uh, Jessica, somebody's holding your face in their hands. Uh, look, if you can close your eyes, what do you see in front of you, Jessica? Everybody stop now, take a breath, take a deep breath. Fill your breath up, fill your lungs and exhale. When you breathe, your body does this. And that's a movement of electrons. You're moving electrical energy in and out, pulsing energy as your heart does. Your heart beats 72 beats a minute and it's an electrical flow of energy. When the blood is moving through your system, it's electrical energy. Your blood has copper in it, which is an electrical conductor. And an electrical charge is produced by the movement of the blood through your veins. An electrical charge, much like an electrical charge forms around a wire that gives electricity to a lamp. Your body is doing the same thing all the time. So now, again, everybody become aware of the space around their body. Yes, Jolene, yes. Yeah, when you say heavy, my forehead, um, they're saying look up. They're saying tilt your head up, Jolene, uh, because there's something inside you trying to pull you back down. Remember, all, those, of you, those of us who are still dealing with our ego mind, your acquired self, the, one, the person you've been taught to think you're supposed to be, that part of you will try and stay intact because it's only used to being a certain way. And you're being asked to now extend that, to change that. It doesn't want to change. It, it, it wants to stay in what it remembers and what it's familiar with. So, Jolene, look up and tell me how that changes in your forehead. I feel that's right. Yeah, you see the difference as soon as you did that. Uh, now, Lydia, uh, the energy you're feeling in your head, where are you feeling it? Can you describe where you're feeling it? Because you want to become aware that wherever you're putting your attention, you're changing the energy in your body. This is, how, this is how you will heal. Some of you will become healers. Some of you will become teachers. Some of you will be card readers. Some of you will be instructors. You know, it depends on what your soul came here to do. But to get to the understanding of what that is, to get to the understanding of what that is, you must learn to be what you are, <laughs> even though you already are. Yes, that's right. That's right, Jessica. They're saying that's right. You see, feel that. They're saying, remember the feeling. For when you call upon Gabriel or Archangel Michael, remember this feeling. Yes. 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 So you see, as you start to work with the energy that you are, your body begins to change. Please make sure to regularly drink water 
while you're doing this work. We're taking you into a really a level of consciousness that is natural to who you are as a soul, but is not natural to your body and is not natural to your uh, programming, what you taught to think you're supposed to be. Um, yes, that's right. So again, take a deep breath now and become aware of the space around your body and just stay in that space around your body. Keep your awareness in the space around your body, just about, about two feet out. If you need to close your eyes to feel that space better, please do, because you'll still hear the sound of my voice. Now, if you're feeling pressure on top of the head, you've got, yeah, they're trying to download something into your consciousness right now, Lydia. That's that pushing down for, they're trying to download something into your consciousness right now. So if you can imagine just that opening up and just allow what you feel to come in and notice if there's any images or ideas connected to that feeling. Ah, yes. Devada, is it your left or right shoulder? It makes a difference what side of the body you're feeling sensations on. If it's, if it's the left side of the body, it tends to be more um, feminine and more emotionally based energies that you're dealing with. If it's the right side of the body, it tends to be more thought based energies, very masculine energy. And so there's different. One is thought related, one is emotionally related, one is past related, one is f usually future related. Um, yes. Shira, you're everybody, everybody in the group is going to be noticing their energy center is becoming far more activated as we go more and more into the program. We're going to get deeper. And anybody who thinks they're not experiencing something, I assure you, there's a level on which you are changing and experiencing something. Yes, colors will represent things. Uh, Jessica is mentioning that the color orange is coming to her. Colors will represent different things. Yes. Now, Colleen you've got a question mark on that statement. So chain, remove the question mark from your statement. A lot of you will say, I'm not sure, am I perceiving somebody? Take away the question mark. If you take away the question marks of what you're experiencing, oftentimes it will shift the energy of what you're experiencing to what it is into one, instead of wondering what it is. Because only the mind likes to question. Only your ego mind likes to question things. Why is that? I don't understand. Only the mind likes to question. The soul, you know. Experience, you know. Yes. Yes. So just allow the information to come down, Jessica. Um, again, you are an electrical instrument. This body that you're in is an electrical instrument. It's finely tuned. Uh, Christina, I... I get there's a somebody uh, there's a, a spirit near you named the name of by the name of John, and he's saying he wants to say something. He's saying he wants to say something. Uh, he says you can close your eyes and listen to the words that are hidden here. He says. Listen to the words that are hidden there. He says that. Okay, um, my goal in this and their goal in this was to get you to an understanding that you are energy. You are not the body. It is your instrument. That you are not the thoughts. They are just information that you were given as you were raised. And now you are getting rid of some of that old information and bringing in new higher vibrational frequencies into your consciousness now. Yes, that's right. Okay. Now, those of you who are still on the hand and have expanded the energy out around the hand and brought it up the arm, now become aware of that energy surrounding your body. Just imagine and feel the energy around your body. Remember, your body right now is radiating an electrical field, a magnetic field. And the goal is to become aware of the energies because when you can feel the energies that is what you are, what they are is pure energy. They are not at this frequency, but they are at higher frequencies. And the more you can perceive energy beyond what your senses are telling you, the easier and more effective your listening and your clairs will be as you step outside of that. Yes. There you go. So there you go, Colleen. So now you can remember that feeling. Colleen, remember when you feel that feeling, feel, remember the feeling that the body felt 
so that you understand how Archangel Michael is connecting with you. Because that's, that's one of the ways he'll connect to you. And it will be different for different people. You know, for me, Michael just comes up and, and taps me on the back of the shoulders, between my shoulders as I'm here. And sometimes he'll stand over in a corner and he'll say, Hey, bud, right? We, it's it's going to be different for you. And that's the goal is to connect to your sensation, your energy about this. There is lots of data being released now showing that, that human beings are actually, they can measure a body, somebody leaving the body. Now. They can actually measure the electrical energy, the potential of that awareness, that individualized consciousness as it leaves the body and enters the body, as is in the case of yoga. They can measure that electrical change of potential now. A hundred years ago, they couldn't do any of this stuff. They couldn't analyze that stuff. Um, okay. They're saying I have to stop now and ask you to ask questions because now it's about you uh, getting your concerns and considerations answered so that you understand what we've been trying to communicate to you. So if anybody's got any questions or concerns, please um, put them in the comments box. I should be able to see them right in front of me now. Everybody take a deep breath. They're saying take a deep breath and bring yourself here. And just ask your mind to be still. Just ask your mind to be still. And be present. Ah. Okay. Hi, Jess. Welcome back, Jess. So... Jessica, you're asking, what did my soul come here to do? They're saying they find it very interesting that after you made that question, you put a heart after that. They are saying that you came here to know and express and be love. And they think that that's kind of funny because in truth, you already are love. But they say, ask yourself, how does love think and act at all points of time and space and you will reveal the purpose that is yours to yourself so they're saying do the things that you know that you do with love everything with love and you will understand it will unfold around you because when your focus is on something it grows I hope that makes sense um, Uh, Lydia, pushing on the back of my left hand, feels like it's buzzing. Um, put your awareness into that feeling, Lydia. Put your awareness into the feeling and ask, who is this? And listen. They're saying, listen very carefully, because you know who it is. You just have to stop trying to interpret through your mind and stop trying to interpret through your senses, but to feel the feeling of the energy of what you're experiencing. Feel the feeling of the energy. That's the important thing. Sue, so it's not important to remember the different energies around you uh, at the beginning. The most important thing is to become aware of them. That's the first thing. There are some right now that are actually going, oh, whoa, that's Archangel Michael. That's them. You, as you become more aware of them, you can ask the energy question. Because remember, they function on a frequency that's a higher energy vibration. So you can ask it, what or who is this? And there will always be a response. Um, the question then becomes is, will your mind respond? And you have to, that's where you have to learn to sort through the responses of your mind versus the knowing of your soul. Because there's a very big distinction between the, the responses of your mind and the knowing of your soul. And the knowing of your soul is a feeling because it'll feel right. It'll, it'll, it'll feel higher. You'll feel lighter. You'll feel expanded when it's coming from a place of soul truth, of your knowing. It always feels expanded. Mind contracts, soul expands. And we need both of them. We need both of them to grow. Hmm... <laughs> So Dale says, I have constant cricket sounds in my ears, not ringing. Well, that's a beautiful sound, crickets, isn't it? 
what what they're saying what does the feeling of crickets represent to you and then you'll know what frequency it is you're tapping into ah Colleen is asking what can I do or not do to keep raising my vibration make certain you're drinking lots of water make certain you're eating more live food get away from processed foods do not you do not have to do it all at once but continue on that journey of eating more live foods um, becoming aware of the space around you more than the space within you and they're saying within you means your physical body a lot of people get stuck in here they say too many people are stuck in the body and aren't aware of what's around them so they get stuck and they stay in the container their whole life and they're stuck like a like a, a caterpillar that never comes out of the cocoon so to be more aware of the energy around you that will begin to uh, that will allow you to become open to downloads they're saying downloads and inspirations and information that are beyond your form so that's one thing that you can do um, Okay, Savannah, uh, when I feel things at times, I notice I am, I noticed, oh, wait, I just went in front of me, me confirmation, uh, before I saw a hologram, what did it look like, is it Saint Germain, yes, yes, that was Saint Germain, Jess, um, he's a very, Saint Germain's a very fascinating um, being, I've met him, I've actually had him physically manifest in front of me. It was an amazing experience to actually have somebody, have a master manifest his form right in front of me and then tell me that he gave me very specific instructions at that time of what I was to stop doing and what I was to start doing. And then he just went. It's just gone. It was a very fascinating thing. So yes, it was. Uh, yes, Jessica, you are opening up your clairvoyance now as you start to sense the energies around, right? Um, you're tapping into your soul. Remember, your soul is a, your soul embraces, encompasses your body. Your soul energy embraces it, and is within it. Uh, Robert, guidance for me at this moment. Guidance for him at this moment. They're saying, spend more time becoming aware of what happens between your breath. In your meditation, become aware of the moments between your breath. Become aware of the moments between your breath. And there's, by that they mean when you breathe in, at the top of your breath, when you hold, there is a space between the breath. Sit in the space and be in the space. And then they say when you exhale down, and you exhale all along, there is a space. Be in the space. Practice being in the spaces of your breath. That's what they're saying. Um, Marti, guidance for me. Mm. They're saying something about exercise. Uh, they're saying there's something you need to do more in terms of exercise. Um, yeah, they're saying, and stretching, your, your neck and shoulders need stretching, but you also need, uh, there's, they're, they're showing, no, they're showing like actually lifting something. They're saying something more, you got to lift more. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so they're saying your muscles, you need to build some muscle. <laughs> uh, they're also saying if you, uh, recognize that that is true, then you must also alter your diet to feed the muscles that you grow so that you don't draw from other parts of your body. Um, Julie, tap into Julie. Mm. Julie, they're saying you need to step out of the thoughts more. Step out of the thoughts more. The thoughts about things, the thoughts about events. Become more observant of them. Um, mm.
Okay. So I'm just, I'm just a whole bunch of stuff coming in right now, and they can feel that, right? Uh, Sue. They're saying, get out in nature more. Get out in nature more. And don't think about what you're experiencing. Feel what you're experiencing. Don't think about what you're experiencing. Feel what you're experiencing. This will help you to break out of the mind even more, which will make what come what is coming next much easier to embrace. Yes. Important to know everybody that as you learn these things, it's preparing you. All of this is preparing you for what you intended to do here. Uh, Miriam, they're laughing at, at you right now about the coffee day. They're saying there is no there is no need for a stimulant other than the fact that your body is used to being stimulated that way. But we say to you, Miriam, that your body will be far more stimulated and better served if you so choose to enlighten it with joy and bliss and actions that make it feel uplifted. Do not stimulate your body artificially. It is not what it was designed to be. Yes, um, yes, John is saying when you finish this time today to get a quiet place and write down what he says, let it come through you. There is, uh, for those of you who have a caffeine addiction, I will give you a recommendation of my own that we use. We use a stuff called uh, Nescaf which is um, a chicory type of a beverage that's heated, like coffee, but it's a coffee substitute, and you can get it. It's, um, it's called Nescaf, and most health food stores, most health food stores carry that. Um, it is time to close this up now, but I want everybody to take a moment. Take a deep breath, and when you take a deep breath, breathe in all the vibrations that are around you right now. They're saying, Breathe in all the vibrations around you right now. Breathe it in. And then exhale it out and expand the vibrations out. And this is how we shall leave you today. In these very frequencies and vibrations. Watch the replay of this so that you can learn there is so much in here that we gave to you to facilitate your growth. We are always with you. We are always present. You need only ask, but you can only receive for that which you ask with awareness. So watch this video, learn these things, practice these things. There is, they're saying there's far more information in here than any one of you can process in this time frame. <laughs> There's far more than you know, not only in word, but in frequency. There are frequencies in here that are greater than you can process in the time that this event occurred. I will take any, if you got any other questions or concerns, or if you'd like to go into greater detail as an individual, any of you can uh, private message me if you want to do something privately as well, because I do work privately. But I want to say thank you to all of you for showing up today. You're a great group of people. You're really high vibrational. And, and they're saying, yes, you guys are so truly on your path. Honor it. Continue to honor it. Much love to all of you today. We will see you again.